what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Glory here coming at you with a new episode of Coach Glory. This is actually going to be the second episode. We're going to be spectating another gameplay of mine. It is a solo gameplay. However, I have heard lots of feedback from you guys and they were all great positive feedback. So I appreciate it very, very much for those of you who shared the feedback. Please keep them coming as they do help me shape the future of this segment. Um, I just want to improve and make it better and more enjoyable for you guys that are watching. With that said, we hit 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is thanks to each and every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And I can't wait to see where this uh, is going to take us. Like I said, we're brand new to YouTube. So if you do enjoy watching the video, you can always hit that thumbs up. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And if you enjoy the content and you think you might want to come back for some future uh videos you can also hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to get notification um today i think you guys are going to enjoy this one as well it is a solo like i mentioned so let's dive right in so at this point i don't see anybody around me so i can land here no problem i would consider this a very safe drop there's no audio of nobody parachuting me or anything and at this point, I think I just want to find a better gun because that uh, LMG right there, the M60, I'm not a fan of the ground loot. Anything would be better at this point. That's exactly what I find here. And I spot this guy last minute and I'm able to land a headshot on him for a quick kill there. So uh, shots were on point. He didn't even do any damage to me. Uh, very executed kill there. Now I'm just looting, trying to listen to audio cues. And you guys might see me hop and jump uh, every once in a while. And uh, the reason why I do that is because for that half a second that you're in the air, you don't hear any audio because you're airborne. And that is a potential uh, gap in that time that you can hear somebody else either running or sprinting or jumping or opening a door. Whatever it is, so that's the reason for that. Let me click that. <laughs> Definitely off that finger, that right there. <laughs> I'm just looking for people because, yeah, I feel like there's always got to be more people on Super here. So I'm just, even though I have enough money to buy. I, uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find anybody else so I don't get surprised. I heard somebody landing nearby, so I'm just going to be looking for them here on high alert. So I hear somebody up top, so then I pop dead silence and try to make my move. I see how he, that he gets in the car, so I'm over here just trying to make it to him. And it ends up not being him. There was another guy camping in a corner. Guys, and please, please, please don't play like this guy sitting in a corner. You have everything. All the odds are stacked against you if you play like that. Because in that instance right there, that guy was literally just sitting there waiting for something to happen so then he can react to it. As opposed to be, being offensive and essentially having things go on his terms if you're offense if you're on the offense you're able to uh juke out of a door faster because you know you ran into something so you could quickly turn around um it's just way better for you to be uh aggressive and not playing rat like um i promise you that even if you die a lot playing this way um in the beginning over time, this will happen faster. You will become a better player by playing aggressive and not playing like this guy. Look at that. Daddy everywhere. No matter where you go, you find a dead silence. I believe I go up on a roof here to see if I can make a play on him. So that he was no longer on beat. Made it made me feel like uh, going up was was safe there, and I missed the headshot, so I immediately want to drop down with him to get the finish. Pop that silence to make a play, and I quickly learned that there's another guy here. So while dead, he oh this guy had no chance. 
He didn't even, uh, he, he barely turned around by the time he was dead. So now at this point, I'm just going to get another UAV and uh, just go hunting. My kill, man. You stole my kill. I didn't get there quick enough. Recon. I should have just sniped them in the head. Would have been my kill then, right? Gotta land your shots, guys. Gotta land them. Missed another shot there. I haven't used this gun too much, so I'm not very used to the uh, the bullet drop. And I just want to point out here that I have two C4s. This could have been an easy kill. Uh, this guy would have been dead already, uh, but I don't do that. So that is a mistake I want to point out. He ends up uh, losing his vehicle, so he's on foot. And I know that there's people to my left, so I don't want to stay still too too long here. So I kind of reposition here and try to put myself in a better... So I see that that guy's shooting. I saw somebody to my left as well before, while I was zooming in here. I was trying to see if I could land these shots. Somebody else gets the kill over there. And then I see somebody on heartbeat. So I line up the headshots and, uh, and get rid of this guy. So I know there's still one guy out there on the, uh, the other side of the tarp. I see him on beat. Land a shot here. I get aggressive. I know he's weak. Through the C4, he's still weak. And I just finish him off just like that. Five kills deep at this point here. Hear that loadout over there, so you know there's somebody in that direction. I decided to go uh, get this bounty here. Yeah, I think I um I had heard prior shots over towards police here. So I decided to go this way, pick up these kills since I'm close by, and then uh make my way to bounty after. And I see two here in police station. So I'm playing it slow. I already made too much noise there, but we're fine still. Guys are playing super slow. Both in the same building and they're not fighting. And that's a free kill. So now the other guy heard a shot. He gets all excited. He comes down the stairs. And I break him. And I misheard him here. He actually goes up the ladder. But it's too late by the time I realize that he's already up. So now I'm... Playing a little bit slow here. I know he's not going to be able to kill me. So I decided to get a little bit of loot here. And then try to see if I can make a play. I always want to be moving. Moving is really important. Throw that C4. Don't get any damage on him. He's still up top. Friendly loadout drop on the way. I'm, at this point, I believe... I'm just trying to confirm that he's above. And that noise right there, he jumped down to the second floor. Yep, so I see him there. And I get a little bit aggressive on him. Break him, and I just full out WK him. Get the knock there. Don't be like that guy. I need recon on my position. Do not be like that guy. I see somebody in my U UAV right there that's getting close. Get that quick kill. Jumped into him. ADSing already because I had the information. Whenever you could break the screen on somebody. It is very beneficial to break the screen. And um, you guys can look it up. Uh, you'll get really detailed information what breaking the screen is. But uh, in the shortest way possible is, for example, you have one person looking down a hallway. And then uh, the second person is in a room that comes 
from that hallway that second person if he jumps out of the room into frame from the original player that person that's doing the jumping in they are breaking the frame uh because they're appearing onto the enemy screen as of as opposed to the other way around and that is always an advantage in this game so i always encourage you to do that I'm trying to get information as to where this guy is here. I see that he's go upstairs, so I come over here to try to make a play. UAV entering the AO. I see him there, so I try to make a move on him. And then he comes back with a shotgun. Ah. That shotgun is very lethal up close. Very lethal up close. That's very unfortunate. Thank you so freaking much for the love. So I failed to see what gun he was rocking when he ran up the stairs. When he ran up the stairs there after he closed the door. Um, I could have potentially spotted what gun he was using and if I saw it was a shotgun I could have played that encounter differently, but I did it and I paid the price and we're hey, in the gulag here gentlemen. I'm just eating in game right now You know just gotta get that fuel in baby And also guys if you're watching right now and you haven't had water make sure you're hydrating yourself Stay hydrated folks Get that easy gulag win. I heard that he was going right, so I just met him there. So what I do here is I change my field of view down to 60. I normally play on 120, but the way rendering works in this game is... Uh, a little bit unique so if you have your field of view at 120 uh you have to go down at a certain level for you to see enemies on the ground uh, if you have it on 60 you can see it further up so generally when i'm trying to get some information i just change it down to 60 so i can see my enemies from higher up in elevation that's the reason why i do that so I see on a minimap that there's this most wanted just chilling up there. I believe I go to make a play on him. Yeah, I think that is what I do. I'm gonna pick up my gun here before I do that. So that guy stayed with a shotgun because he didn't take either of my guns there. So we have to be mindful of that. You can remember these little details very important because if you see that skin that orange skin the guy that killed me he had orange pants we see him again we know how we have to play enemy marked i'm gonna play a little bit distance with him put some shots into him here this is very tough i could go enemy over UAV there and throw two c4s is he really doing this for money? Enemy UAV overhead. I'm confused as to why this guy's playing like this so the guy so, so another enemy throws an airstrike and i see that this guy jumps down and i'm able to actually kill him because of that so that guy actually uh helped me down with an assist with that kill my my guy holding it down thank you to whoever put that up there yeah no kidding very nice guy love it and I'm surprised by this guy just camping. He wasn't even looking the right direction. I think he was just trying to make out what he was hearing. That was a quick, easy kill. And this right here ends up being that shotgun guy. Like a shotgun boy. A good spot there that I didn't have a self res. Always good to have a self res. Although at times I feel like uh, solos, we got recon online. you don't really need a self res if you're sniping. It's more useful just because if you put yourself in close counter engagements, you're most likely going to get knocked and thirsted. 
you're sniping someone you probably get you know you probably go down by another sniper or something like that and you're able to hop the self res i was able to get that quick kill there at the top i saw that uh there was a couple of pings there so i pushed towards it was able to get uh, one of them the guy I killed had killed this the second no ping i had seen so yeah so we know we have information that there's somebody on top of airport and that's always a a risky push it's kind of a yolo push just because if somebody you know there's somebody up there it could literally just be aiming down the sights to the zip and then you're you're immediately dead to the side literally just camping the uh the zip yeah so i decide to not push that i don't want to really suicide there can't go that way I'm just flying around trying to work my way into zone here. So I'm going left. I'm trying to get under on this. My plan, I believe here is get underneath on the tunnels. Crossing in a wide open is just, it can be pretty bad if you get spotted. I see somebody on the beat here. I choose not to shoot because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get the quick knock. I actually should have killed them there, but missed some shots, but no problem because I did finish them off here pretty easily. Checking a beat. Always check the beat. You never know there's, if there's going to be an enemy on the beat. If you have one, use it. Get one kill. One of them's outside, I think, though, so I might actually be able to capitalize. <laughs> literally Advised ratting UAV we killed this guy already RTB for resupply. we got the one of the two we know that there's still somebody else over there I'm trying to play slow Enemy get some UAV information to see if he peeks he doesn't so i decided to push up here get aggressive on him so i'm just moving back and forth seeing if i could draw him or get information as to where he is he did end up peeking and i was able to win that So that would have been bad if that guy also had a shotgun, but he didn't. So we we're able to get the kill there. It's always very, it's very tough to push inside a building with a, with a shotgun. If you know the enemy has a shotgun, I would probably say uh, you are more at a disadvantage than, than you are an advantage to kill them. Even if you can get the jump on them. Like, say you oh, get yeah, the shots yeah. off first, that uh, shotgun time, time to kill up close is ridiculous. Left, at least seven people that we don't know about that are also uh, ghosted if they're around yeah, here. Right? If they're in my, uh... Yeah, based on our shots, we knew where, where a couple of people were. UAV range. That's also something very uh, good to keep in mind. If you hear, f especially late game, like like I this here, high ground here, anywhere between like 10 and if this is for solos, you could do this uh, very effective for squads as well. But if you're anywhere uh, near, you know, that many people remaining and you start to hear shots going off, you're able to see where people are positioned so you can know where it's safe or relatively safe to rotate and um, position yourself for the end game so keeping those things in mind are, are definitely uh good things indeed i don't know which building but there's some fresh shots over here shout out to mugs yeah it sent me an invite but i wanted to finish this game and that's what we end up doing we play this out and then we join up with mugs. Whenever you're peeking a sniper, I choose to jump up like that and jump and strafe as much as I can. Just because it's harder for them to land a shot on you. This guy actually lands a pretty good shot, so I decided to just stay prone and slowly back up. I was already line of sight at that point. And now I just try to uh, see if I can knock him. I know I have a selfie here, so if he knocks me, I'm probably going to be able to get it off. So I don't know if that airstrike was coming for me or not. So I decided to go in. But actually what happened was that air, somebody airstriked him out of the top there. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. 
sometimes uh, this game will not give you notifications for cluster or airstrikes. I just wanted to play safe there and make sure I was uh, inside a structure. I saw him jump down. I saw him jump down go over there. I'm trying to get some information. Playing a little slow here. I see this. This is the guy on the beat is the guy that jumped down. That's where I'm not too focused on the other building yet because I want to clear this one. I want to make sure there's nobody just, so you know, camping here. Glass crack over here. Yeah, always got to be mindful of the glass cracking. You don't know if it's someone that popped daddy and went over a window or went through a window or if it's, you know, from a bullet or something earlier that caused that glass to break. So always playing uh, slower and safer uh, is always the way to go. What is my play here, chat? I need to get across. So for zone, I, I, uh, I have the right mindset here. I want to make sure that I'm able to get into the zone. And I decided to stay high ground. So I want to take the uh, that little ride. I want to go for a ride here. I see that there's a sniper over there. So I decided to peek a couple of uh, peek them and throw some shots and end up breaking them. And then somebody actually shoots me. I had another guy near me that was, uh, I think this guy was ghosted. So I, he ends up jumping down as well. So I take gondola into the next the zone or to the next building here into the zone. <laughs> Imagine. No hits on that run. So I hear somebody above or somebody around me somewhere. I'm trying to find out where he is. So I'm just moving back and forth to get information. It sounds like he's above, but uh, sometimes the audio still confuses me to this day. I have so many hours played and sometimes it's very difficult to decipher where that sound cue is. So, you know, I'm playing a pretty aggressive here. I'm not, I don't care if people hear me. Uh, this guy already knows I'm here. So I'm just moving around, trying to get as much information as I can. Check as many corners as I can. There's a rat just to get info. Below, if I had a guess. Losing ground. I decided to open that, not, not to loot it, but just so I can have the audio back. You have a box like that and you're standing near it that's no good because then it's getting in the way of the audio for footsteps so i'm still playing very slow here i'm he's just above me want to confirm that he's right above here? so i'm playing i'm playing slow time. i'm playing for my life here i need to get some kills here Enemy UAV overhead. <laughs> i saw that i had uh 17 Enemy and there's seven others alive still so i'm like i need to get some kills hungry for them kills yeah, at this point, I'm convinced that he's above. So I know I want to keep high ground, so I have to take one of these uh, handlers over again. I spot him and I'm able to get the uh, headshot there, kill him rather quickly. So now I'm still not in zone and the zone is pushing. So I know I have to make a move for the next building over there. And notice how I move from stairs to this pickup truck. Whenever you're rotating, especially if you don't know exactly what's in your surrounding uh, and you have things like a rock a tree, a car, whatever it is, it's better to go from object to object to object than just running in a straight line or just running in the open. So I see that there's a guy over there. So I, just, I go through here and there's a guy that's ghosted. So I'm able to get back out and played up here. I jump up top to see if I could get a uh, some shots into him. 
He actually sees what I'm trying to do and hurts me again. So I jump back down just to replate. At this zone, at this point, I'm looking at zone and I'm trying to get ahead of it. It's always nice if you can position yourself in zone and then people are going to be coming to you as opposed to you moving, being the last person to move and you're going to have the disadvantage. So that guy puts a precision on me. I decided to get into this structure here. <laughs> I thought that airstrike would have hit me because uh, that door was open. I could it could have definitely happened. So at this point, there's only three left. We know that, that there's still a guy to come because we have that info. He ends up killing the guy that we were fighting initially died to this guy. And we are able to finish this guy here. And then the last guy we already know is down low. So this is uh, a W. We are one short away from a 20 bomb, but a nice, easy victory here. Uh, I feel like I played pretty well. Uh, obviously, the biggest mistake there was where I died and went into the gulag, where I essentially played a little too aggressive when i didn't need to necessarily the guy had a shotgun um like when going back to that instance he got shots a couple times went around the boxes and i decided to move up on the steps i could have just stayed on the stairs and when he came around i would have had uh some shots into him and i probably would have killed him uh because if you guys were to go back on the video uh, he did kill me, but I also left him with very very little HP. So outside of that, I don't think we Had any bad mistakes. Uh, I think this was a solid game and um, That's gonna be it for today with that said we are at the end of this video here and uh, I do want to say a big thank you again to those of you guys who shared the feedback for the very first coach glory video uh, I see it. I love it. So please keep that feedback coming. It is very, 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 very appreciated. And it's also encouraging for me to continue to do this. Uh, new content is going to be on the way. Uh, we're going to be doing some duos, some trios, quad analyzing. It's going to be great. Um, so thank you guys very much. And if you did enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up. It helps us out tremendously. If you enjoyed the content and you want to find your way back here for more content, we do upload three times a week. And also we do shorts on the days that we don't upload a full video. So we have lots of content coming for you guys. So if you're enjoying the content, hit that thumbs up. And also if you're not subscribed, tap that subscription button, ladies and gentlemen. Tap the bell for notification as well. And I will see you beautiful people on the next one. I love you all. Have a great day.